So, the end. It is finally the end. This is legit my last Ipsy Glam bag. I'm, like, weirdly excited that this is finally the end. And, see, this month's, uh, theme is Rebel Rebel. Just, again, just... Uh, Ipsy, you really need to have better cards. These are terrible. But, anyways, it's like... Misfits, Roll Breakers, Badass Babes... Yeah, th just, this does not scream rebellion to me, I'm sorry. Like, oh look! It looks like she got shot on her shirt! How edgy of you! That is so cool! Not really, I just... Okay, in general, I don't like graffiti font. I really don't. It's not my favorite whatsoever. Just, I don't like this bag, but whatever, this is a- Oh, and see, it's even upside down! Eh. Oh well. Let's open this, shall we? And again, I'm gonna do this all with one hand. Eh. Yes. Because I don't feel like showing my face. Okay, so first thing that I'm gonna pull out is this... Clarice? Uh, yeah, so it's this mask slash um, cleansing clay, and it's activated with water. You open it up, and it's just a whole bunch of powder, hence why you need to activate it with water. Look at you, you're so smart, and I'm so smart, and I have good dexterity, because I'm a nurse. So, like, I like mask things, although right now I'm using Proactive, so I'm trying to just... Because my skin's on Proactive right now, I'm trying not to use extra stuff, but I'm pretty happy about that. I like masks. Next thing is this Hey Honey... 24-7 Honey Day and Night Moisturizer Cream, and again, because I'm using Proactive right now, I'm not going to use this immediately, but I like moisturizers. I'm starting to understand the greatness and the usage and how much I need a moisturizer, especially when I'm in Vegas, because just, ugh, so dry. Why does anyone want to live in Vegas? It's so dry there. Not the point. Yay, moisturizer. Next thing I'm going to pull out is this Sephora Formula X in this... Is it pink? I think it's a pinky color. I don't know what the name of the color is. Is it on the back? Focus. Yes, Wing Woman. I don't know what... How does someone get paid to name stuff? Like, really? How did someone look at this and say, Oh, I'm going to name this Wing Woman to me. It looks like Watermelon. Watermelon would have been a more appropriate name, but you know what? Fine. Call it Wing Woman. Sephora. Uh, next thing I'm gonna pull out is this DLS. I've never heard of this brand before, but it is a baked highlighter. Yes, I'm using one hand. <laughs> it's like this nice peachy color. I need to open this. Yes, it's like a nice peachy color. I don't think I have a peach highlighter. I just finally got Thunderstruck by Kat Von D, and I'm super excited, but this is a nice peachy highlighter, and I hope it serves my face well. I still have a baked bronzer that I have not even touched, but that's okay, because, you know, eventually I will. Okay, so the number one thing that I was super excited for is this Urban Decay shadow, and for those who know me, Urban Decay, I just have a love for. They were my very first eyeshadow palette. Thank you, Jamie. And the color is lounge. And I have been wanting lounge for a while, but I could not justify spending $20 on an eyeshadow at this point. I liked lounge, and now I have it. And I, like, squealed when I got it, and I'm so happy. And this is... This is a little packaging. This is the thing. Ugh. Yeah. This is... You can't see it, unfortunately, with my camera, but it goes like this teal, and then when you turn it away from the light, it's more of like a brown. It's just, it's so beautiful. And I heard that Club by uh, MAC is similar, but I don't think so. And I also heard that Bay from C ColourPop is good, but, you know, I don't feel like paint shipping. But look how pretty it is. Just, it's beautiful. But this is, um... 
0.85 grams. And for comparison, this is my Urban Decay Intergalactic Moon Dust. This is 1.5 and this is 0.85. So this is half of this. But still, like, I think it's a pretty good amount. I mean, I've had, like, basically with all my Urban Decay shadows, I still have very good amounts of, except Walk of Shame, which I finally completely panned, and I'm so excited about that. So excited. Um, but, you know, because I am me, I'm going to put this shadow in here. See? Look. Look how pretty. I found this random MAC pressed powder compact, and it's been in my um, medicine cabinet for years. I'm pretty sure that it's my mom's. I don't know how old this thing is. It's probably like over 10 years old, but it had like tons of, um, it still had a lot of product on the sides, and that was probably expired, and even the sponge that was in it was completely dried. So I took it all out, and... Um, Totally not about Ipsy, but I just want to tell you guys my smart and new invention. Uh, what happened was I've always wanted a MAC eyeshadow. And I went into the MAC store and I got Steamy. That's what this is. And, okay, so if you buy the entire eyeshadow with, like, inside of the original MAC packaging, it's, like, 16 bucks. And then the lady told me, like, oh, if you just buy the pan, the refill pan by itself, it's $6. So I saved myself $10, but, like, I didn't have a home for Steamy. And then I remember, and, like, I went on eBay for a couple days, and I tried to get, um, just, you know, maybe someone was selling just the, um, the clamshell for the, um, for the MAC eyeshadow, but no. But anyways, I remembered that I had this compact, and I thought, huh, might as well put it to good use. So I took Steamy, and I put some poster putty down. For some reason, like this, even though there's a magnet on this, it doesn't, um, connect, it, like, it doesn't stick to this naturally. No magnets, I guess. And oh, look, it's Johnny Ramone. Oh, wait, you can't see him anymore. Forget it. But anyways, um, <laughs> so I just put Steamy in here, and then I remembered that Jessica gave me the navy color from her Lorac Mega Pro, well, her Lorac Pro 2, so that's, so now I have my own little mini palette. So yeah. Anyways, this is my last Ipsy, thank God. I mean, if I have a child in the future, you know, you know if I have a daughter, she's just gonna use all my makeup. I'm sorry. Sorry, Sheena Theo. Anyways, just, I hate this. This is ugly as hell. Um, at, I'm a huge Urban Decay fan, and I got the color that I've been kind of looking at for a while, so, so happy. Although, I know that Fireball was also an option, but I, you know, I've been wanting this for a while. This, I'm like, meh excited for. I don't like how big it is. I know that sounds weird, but, like, I just... I just feel like baked shadows, like, take forever, and you know what? Whatever. I got moisturizer. I got clay stuff for my face. I got face mask. <laughs> and then I got this delightful um, nail polish, and you know what? Since this is my last Ipsy bag, you know, I'm pretty, I'm pretty satisfied, and... Just, again, for someone who's thinking about Ipsy, if you are willing to try new products and you want to expand your makeup collection, then go ahead, go get Ipsy. But if you're someone like me and you already have everything that you want and everything that you need, then, you know, it's not really, like, you know, it's fine. It's only 10 bucks or 11 including shipping, but, like, it, you know, I already have so much makeup, so, yeah. I don't need this. So, yeah. Thank you for watching! Goodbye.